You're very welcome to Box Office Bite Size. Now, film critic Andy McCarroll joins me now to preview Terminator Dark Fate. Now, Andy, I've lost count of the amount of Terminators. What is happening with this one? This is <laughs> um, officially the sixth Terminator film, wow. but unofficially it's the third film. They're ignoring the last two, so the trilogy of trilogies has stopped, and so they're just going to ignore everything except the first two films just to, you know, confuse the timeline even further. The old gang is back. You have Schwarzenegger, who's back now. Good. But kind of the most exciting thing about this is Linda Hamilton, who was Sarah Connor, is back now. And for a woman at 62 years of age, she still looks like she would beat the absolute bejesus out of me. <laughs> she's looking good. The thing is, though, she's been off the radar for so long. So is this a comeback for her? Is this a necessity? It's obviously a money job she took, for sure. She's been doing kind of guest spots on TV shows. Mm. She hasn't really made a film since 1997, which was uh, the volcano Dante's Peak with God. Pierce Brosnan. She's kind of said that she was trying to coax her back for the last couple of Terminators, but she's very happy. She's had kind of living a, a secluded life. And what is it worth coming out of retirement to just get another 15 minutes of fame. But she said she was quite happy with how the story went and she sees this as kind of, you know, the closing chapter of Sarah Connor to give her the ending that Terminator 2 didn't. Talk us through Arnie, you know, obviously I'll be back, but what is his role now in this Terminator Dark Fate? Well, according to the synopsis, he's playing a, a draper called Carl who works on an army base. So I think that's pretty much going to be a cover for him um, strapping on the leather jacket and the shotgun fairly soon to, to rekindle <laughs> the role of the T-800. Is there any good lines, do you reckon? Can we look forward to those? I'd say I'll be back will certainly be there. <laughs> yes, um, hope so. He's not exactly known for his stellar dialogue, but again, the kind of anyone who's seen Terminator 2 knows he, he doesn't survive that. So how he manages to come back and play a role in this one will be quite interesting. Yeah, indeed, and of course, James Cameron is attached. So tell me more about that. Yeah, James Cameron, who was actually married to Linda Hamilton at That's one point. That's right. Good, and good she, knowledge, uh, you. Nice uh, 50 million divorce settlement from that. That's so they right. seem to be best friends now, despite that. Yeah, he's uh, helped write the script with director Tim Miller. Tim Miller is the guy who, who made Deadpool. Deadpool yeah. And to be fair to him, he's been quite vocal in saying how bad the other Terminator sequels were. So he, he's definitely not someone who's trying to you know, play the, the popular vote with people. He seems to acknowledge you know, this is a series that has been more missed than hit, and he says he knows how to fix it. So again, the last three directors have said that as well, but they haven't even been able to deliver. Do you think James Cameron will come back with the trilogy on this one? This is the rumour that it is. Now, initially they said this is just going to be a, a one and done, but of course, like every franchise film now at this point, they have to be, oh, this is the start of a new trilogy and, and hand the mantle over to the new generation. This is the third time in the Terminator series alone they've tried this. So whether it's third time, lucky for them or not, no, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. But it's nice for fans because I think people are looking forward to seeing it indeed. Maybe not me, but the fans <laughs> themselves. <laughs> yeah, definitely. It's, it's always good to see Arnie in, in that uh, the Terminator thing. And those, you know, he was posting videos of him in the full outfit on his okay. ranch uh, shooting cans. So it's, it's definitely something that for nostalgia fans of Terminator, and especially Terminator 2, I think it's going to be something really exciting. Absolutely, Andy. Thank you so much for joining us for this week's preview. And of course, we're going to chat to you again next week on Box Office Bite Size.